Hello and welcome to the Met Office 10 day trend. The weather at the moment is somewhat messy, a lot of cloud cover across the UK, outbreaks of rain, showers, thunderstorms in northern Britain, sunny spells in southern UK. Very different weather depending on where you are, but it does sort itself out over the next few days. Any thundery showers tend to ease heading into the weekend, high pressure builds and for most it's looking fine. Does that continue into next week? In a word, no, it looks like we'll revert to very similar weather patterns that we've got at the moment for the middle of next week. And that means, again, a return to the messiness, a return to rain or showers or thunderstorms in the north, sunny spells in the south, and warm, humid conditions for virtually all of us. The humid air at the moment, of course, is being brought about by an Atlantic air flow, that Atlantic air producing a lot of cloud cover, thick low cloud for western areas, any sunny spells confined to the south and the northeast, where temperatures rise on Thursday, mid 20s or even higher, and that humidity and the rising temperatures sparking some thundery downpours, especially central, southern, eastern Scotland, northeast England, where these showers with a lack of wind will be slow moving. So hit and miss, yes, but if you get caught in one, well, a serious amount of rainfall, risk of disruption, yellow warning for thunderstorms in force. Friday's a similar picture, sunny spells, but yeah, a lot of cloud coming in from the Atlantic and showers developing as temperatures rise through the day. Again, it's eastern areas where we're likely to see the heaviest downpours, risk of thunder and lightning and so on. But these showers perhaps not quite as fierce as Thursday's. Further west, the weather is settling down. Most places dry, if rather cloudy because high pressure is building in, that high pressure ridging all the way from the Azores, helping to bring fine weather for the weekend. And it's because the jet stream to the west of us starts to become more amplified because of that low pressure. And it starts to rise to the north of us for the weekend. But you can see it just there, dipping to the south across eastern parts of Britain. And so on Saturday, it's not gonna be glorious sunshine everywhere. There will be a lot of cloud cover again and that cloud giving one or two showers across eastern parts of the UK, mostly light. But eastern areas will keep a lot of cloud cover through Saturday and temperatures will be lower. Best of any sunny spells, southwestern areas, temperatures into the mid 20s. Similar on Sunday, a lot of cloud cover, but some sun coming through and temperatures rising, low to mid 20s in many places, feeling warm away from the North Sea coast. One or two showers developing, but nothing particularly heavy or prolonged. Most places seeing a fine weekend. So, does it continue into next week? Well, not really. It does continue into Monday, which of course is St. Swithin's Day, and the old proverb goes, if St. Swithin's Day be fair for 40 days, twill rain nay mare. And it doesn't even look this year like it will be true for one or two days because there's an increased chance from Tuesday onwards that that high pressure will be nibbled away by weather systems to the west. And this is how the middle of next week is looking. Low pressure likely to be around to the northwest of the UK, very slow moving, and that low pressure starting to turn things more unsettled once again. Now if that looks similar, well, you only have to look at the weather at the time of recording to see just the same sort of pattern. Low pressure in almost exactly the same place. And at the time of recording, that is bringing a lot of cloud cover to the UK. Weather fronts across northern areas, sunny spells in the south, rain or showers across northern Britain. So if you want to know what the weather's doing this time next week, you just have to look at what the weather's doing over the next couple of days. Northern Britain, a lot of cloud. Areas of rain or showers and high humidities setting off thunderstorms, especially in the north, but not exclusively. I just want to show you two graphs here. This one is for central Scotland. This one's for southern England. And it's a rainfall trend, essentially. You can see the rainfall essentially trends to zero through the weekend and into the start of next week. But by Tuesday in parts of the north, a trend for higher rainfall amounts, and that increases through the middle part of next week. The numbers there in the north bigger than the numbers on the graph for the south. Similar trend though, with an increased chance of rain or showers across southern areas from the middle of next week. However, a lot of uncertainty, a lot of spread here because this signal is the result of the weather being showery, so hit and miss downpours rather than long spells of rain. 
And of course, with showers, it's an unreliable amount of rainfall. Some areas will see plenty, some areas won't see much at all. So an increased chance later next week of rain or showers, mainly in the north, but some of those showers affecting southern parts of Britain. And it will stay warm or humid. Temperatures will stay above average through next week from the north to the south. It's just that the north will see the lion's share of outbreaks of rain, showers, thunderstorms, whereas the south will see the best of any sunny spells and temperatures into the mid-20s. In other words, after an interlude of high pressure this weekend, we go back to the kind of messy weather we've seen at the moment. And uh, of course, uh, details are always going to be tricky to get right at this range, particularly when the weather is that messy. So the best way to stay up to date is by following us on social media. Bye bye.